Hello again and welcome back to The Front Row, a minor production of the First Congregational Church in South Peak and where our intent is to bring snippets from our Sunday morning message into your week. Today we continue our conversation around setting the stage. We are setting the stage for a, an extended conversation around spiritual disciplines or a, a sermon series we've entitled The Disciplined Life. But before we go there, there are a couple concepts that I wanted to share for us to consider as we enter into this conversation. And the first comes from author, speaker, personality, uh, well-known writer Jim Rohn. He has a statement that has become ubiquitous in the, the development world. He says that we are the product, you and I are the product of the five people we spend the most time with. Many people have added an addendum to that that would say, and the books we read. And the message is relatively obvious and simple and straightforward that the people we spend the most time with and the books we read, the things we ingest through our eyes, through our ears, through our experiences, shape us. Now, why is that? Why, why do these influences have such uh, a role in who we are becoming? It is because we are malleable creatures. We are ever-changing, even physically. The, the layer of skin that is on our body is continually sloughing off and regenerating. We get new skin all the time. It's true throughout our bodies physically, but it's also true for us mentally, emotionally, spiritually, in our spirit. We are becoming something and, and someone. And in that becoming process, there are influences that are shaping who we are becoming. So it's important for us to understand the concept that the space, spaces we put ourselves in, the people we surround ourselves with, the influences that are, uh, we are allowing into our lives are shaping who we are becoming. And we should be intentional about that. That's, a, that's an important concept, but buried in that concept is also this idea, or at least around spiritual disciplines, is the fact that these disciplines should not be looked at as, as checkboxes or accomplishments or objectives. I'm not going to go do a discipline just because I'm supposed to do a discipline. But rather, these disciplines that we are getting ready to talk about, what they do is they, they prioritize influ an in a key influence in our lives. And that would be the influence of God Himself. They prioritize it by putting us in the space, in the environment, in the room where God does His best work. Where we open up our spirit, our mind, and our heart into His influence. That's what makes these disciplines so critical in the life of a disciple of Jesus, of a follower of God. So we're going to take some time getting into those over the coming weeks, but it's important we understand this concept first. How important it is to be intentional about the influences that we allow around us, the five people we spend the most time with and the books we read. Are we spending time with God? Are we reading His Word? Would He make the top five? Something to think about anyway, and we're going to dive a little bit more into it in the coming weeks. Hope you'll join us. Blessings to you all. Have a fantastic rest of your day.